Uh, so uh, my name is Anastasia Butowska. I am student enrollment coordinator. So today we are here to have this uh, very brief info session about our MBA online, MBA in agribusiness management. Uh, so today uh, we have like we have the pleasure to have here our current student, uh, Anik Defort. She's from Belgium, and uh, thank you very much, Anik, for being here and sharing your precious time, because we know that you are very, very busy, and I, I think that you have, like, uh, some activity with us right after the info yeah. session. Yeah, that's right. Thank you very much. I'm glad and to be here. Yes, so, and also my colleague Enrique Soriano, he's also from the admission team responsible for for Latin America and United States. So we will be uh, answering all of your questions and Anik will be answering your questions. So uh, in case you have any question, just uh, raise your hand and uh, you can ask directly. If you want to say hi, put your camera on and say hi, it is also fine, okay? Uh, so, um, Maybe I think that we're gonna start. Okay, so Anik, yeah. thank you very much. Um, please introduce yourself and we will start the presentation. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm Anik de Voort. I'm actually, as, as Anastasia said, from Belgium. Um, in full-time life, I've been an engineer and, a, and an entrepreneur in leadership development and team coaching. And next to that, um, I'm also a grower on a, of an olive grove, um, and that's the reason why I joined ISAM to be yeah, well educated on this agricultural project as well. Okay, thank you very much, Anik. So, Enrique, maybe we're going to start the presentation. So, oh. thank, okay, thank you, Anastasia, and thank you, Anik, for, for especially for your time. Um, for your collaboration with Ison, especially. Uh, well, I'm going to make a, a short presentation um, of the well, Master International Business Management online. Uh, well, first slide is uh, why Isan. Uh, this this online program is is designed for for professional you know, you know who who seek. Uh, to to develop their careers in the international agribusiness uh, sector and combine. Uh, this uh, this program with their family lives and their their, their jobs. So uh, basically, I will focus on this is the, the program is 100% flexible. So I allow you to 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 combine uh, these two situations: your your personal life and your work with the studies. Um, you will study with a practical learning. Um, more important, you will have a global network in the agro sector because, uh, well, uh, ISAN is focused to to collaborate with the top professional in the sector. Um, finally, you can get your own title uh, from ISAN, um, and well, this is uh, this is more or less the the, most, the basic aspect of the program. I don't know if Anastasia would like to add some point. Uh, well, yes, thank you, Enrique. I would like to ask uh, Anik, so how do you manage to combine these lots of things that you do? So, and how this uh, format can adapt to your needs? Well, I've, I've chosen the online module because otherwise I would not be able to, to combine. Um, it takes quite some planning, however, like there, we have the freedom to to follow the courses whenever we want because they are recorded so most of the time i use my weekends for it um but also there there are group assignments and so you need to be able to to tap in with other people and their agendas um and they are from all over the world because i'm I think the only one of europe uh, so it makes it very interesting and then it's also like you have to take into account the hours of difference um between the different continents but in all truth, there is a lot of puzzling on the planning and making sure I, I keep free time to, to study and to dive into it. And also 
agree with my my family that I'm also a student as as just as my children are. So we are kind of on the same schedule. So that that's also helpful. Okay, that's great. Thank you very much, Anik. So uh, maybe now we can proceed uh, and begin with um, talking a bit more about these uh, profiles the, of the students who usually start the online program. And maybe after Anik can share some, you know, some uh, classmates profiles, someone who you consider, uh, and just tell us a bit more about their careers. Okay, so Enrique. Yeah, perfect. Thank you, Nastasia and, and Anik. Uh, well, the average age is uh, 35 years old, uh, but you will see you can find many kind of many different profiles in the uh, in the in the program with uh, a student who uh, are well already graduated um, and also professional, you know, in dif at different levels. So I think it's really enriching no? to have the opportunity to, to have different profiles and different um, kind of, of professional. But basically the average work experience is nine, year, uh, nine years. And you will see the different profiles we, we, we will have uh, inside the program. And we know in, in the last edition, we know like business owner, uh, um, people from the marketing sector, uh, agrotechnology, so it's very important um, topic, uh, entrepreneurs and technical engineers, uh, lawyers. So you will see the different profiles. Um, from my point of view, it's an aspect very important to, you know, to um, to see different point of view uh, inside the, the sector, the, the agribusiness sector. Yeah, thank you, Enrique. So this is uh, what happens. Uh, uh, some of the students, they come from more technical background and they want to know and want to understand how the agribusiness company work at all levels, in all departments, how they are organized, okay? Because they have this more technical <clears throat> background, let's say agronomist, biotechnologist, but some of the students, they also are more experienced in the business part but they want to know what is happening actually in the agribusiness industry, in real companies, and how these companies face these kind of you know, problems that everybody face. So uh, Anik, would you mind to share, let's say like your classmates profiles, who they are, and how do you, how, how, how it is to work with them on uh, group assignments and projects? Yeah, it's definitely true that we are all diff completely different backgrounds. Um, which makes it very interesting. And there are several from my classmates, but also from the people I've met when we traveled in Almeria um, together, like who are, who are on a on a yeah, on a job swap swap, going from being, for instance, an engineer or an IT uh, engineer and then deciding deciding to start going into agriculture. Um, Several people are also from Africa, some from uh, America. And in our group also, we have people from Saudi Arabia who are like from NEOM. Um, so they are here with kind of a mission because in Saudi Arabia, they will have to yeah, be self-provided -prov in, in agriculture and, and look how to do it. Um, while on the other hand, we have people who been having a farm in the family for quite some time and who wants to look into how to increase the logistics and how to um, do business with other parts of the world and just their part. So everybody comes in with a kind of different mission. Um, there were also some engineers in our team that they started recently in a big company, uh, for instance, in Mexico, and then the they were already agriculture engineers, but the, the employer themselves said like, we want you to have more business knowledge. So you should have an MBA on agriculture on top of it. So they also joined this and like this, it, everybody has a different background and it makes it pretty interesting. Also, also in, in group assignments, like now my group assignment, which I will have to defend right after this uh, session, I I have the, the pleasure to work with Chris from Zambia and he has, a marketing background. I don't have the marketing background. I have that kind of a business background. So um, we learn from each other. We have the, the content from the professor Isabel. And then with our both our backgrounds, we make something kind of unique because 
we bring it in with our own expertise and we enrich it and we learn from each other that way. So it's, it's interesting to work that way. Yeah, thank you, Anik. This is like, uh, uh, this is very important for us. Okay. And sometimes some students, they ask, well, I didn't study finance and accounting. So how I'm going to do this? And I, I always like put this kind of examples that when we work together in groups, so you can complement each other. And maybe if someone is like in this specific uh, field, you can complement each other and help. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So um, Enrique, so what do we have to say? about the dynamics of the MBA? Yeah, but as, as we mentioned, well, we have um, the most important aspect of the program maybe is to uh, allow the program, allow you to combine your uh, professional life with your studies. So uh, that's why we say, don't say bye to your work free time. Uh, it's 100% flexible, so you can choose your schedule. Um, you have a one tutorial session per, per month with the academic director, um, as well as uh, you can progress in the uh, in the program uh, with group assignment, uh, with comprehension tests, uh, tutorial with the model coordinator. Um, we are, we, here we are talking about the, the top professional uh, professor we have in the program. Uh, we would, we will talk about them in in, in the in a future slide. And um, finally, you had your final agribusiness projects. is um, is like the 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 project that maybe allow you to emphasize in in the model or in the specific uh, subject you want to focus on uh, marketing sustainability. So you have this this possibility with the final agribusiness project. Uh, Anik, Anik I'm, I, many people ask me, and I always also ask like students' opinion. So the the online platform we use to follow this MBA. So how is how is it working? Uh, I heard that it's it's quite interesting because you can use it like from your mobile phone and and things like that. Yeah, you can have the app, or you can do it on your or in your PC. I always do it on my PC, except if I want to check something really quick. Um, but it's it's very well structured. So you get a notification per month for every module that opens up. You get the invitation. If you accept, then you see the structure. You you get um, the goal of this of this module, and then you have the videos which are the recorded lessons, and you have also the presentations. And for some professors, they also add must reads. So extra documentation to give more background on what we do um, and if you follow it it's it's pretty logical you go from one to the other um, and for every module or sub module even for every professor there is like a little follow-up test to see whether you understood but it's also for me it's very helpful to see um, what is considered to be important in in this in this module and then you have like the final test or the final exam which is also online um, and also in the same module, you see these are the group assignments, and those people are assigned to your group. So you can you can contact them through the platform. Um, reality must say that sometimes it's it's a challenge. Like not everybody is using the mails in, in the system uh, yet. So sometimes we have to have some do extra effort to reach each, uh, each other. But once we've done, then we swap easily to WhatsApp also to have like very short time interactions or to have um, video calls with Google Meet, for instance, because that also works all over the world. Um, so yeah, it's good reference because also in that platform, you have a calendar and in that calendar, all your deadlines are there. Um, so for every month, for every module, there are deadlines and there is also a second chance deadline. In, in case you wouldn't make it, um, you, can, you can go for the second chance deadline, but then yeah, obviously you have a little bit of penalty because you can, uh, I think it's 20% reduction of your score, um, which is to motivate us to stay on track with the first deadline because if, if we kind of postpone everything at a certain point in time, it will all end up on top of each other. And yeah, nobody would benefit from it. So, um, I would, but within this month, you ha you have the freedom to do whatever you want, and mm -hmm. and which 
when to follow your courses and when to do your tests. Okay. And what about the the final project? So have you started working on that or is this something like which is about to come? <laughs> That's a deadline for Monday. Um, oh, so <laughs> we, we just got the information um, from Carlos, from the professor, finance professor, who is also going to be our mentor, uh, inviting us to, to bring on a topic by Monday. And we should also work in groups, so, so with at least two people together. So we're like in the interaction in the process now of like um, who's interested in which topic and who will team up to work on the final project. So. Yeah, it started, but I cannot really yeah, explain the next steps yet. It's we are in the first step to get approval for the content and to to create a group we will work with. Okay, thank you. So we wish you good luck with that, <laughs> and thank I hope you. everything will be okay. So, uh, Enrique, maybe we can continue. What about the 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 the, the experts we are mentioning on this time? You unmute, Enrique. Yeah, thank you, Anastasia. Uh, sorry for the for mute. Um, well, as we mentioned, we in in, in ISAN, we we uh, collaborate uh, actively with the top professional in the sector. Uh, here you can see some of them, like Isabel Cayuela. Uh, from is she's marketing director in in BA, BASF. Uh, also Jorge Martinez for from Kimitec. Uh, one of the most innovative companies here in the Almeria area. Uh, Ignacio Antequera from, from uh, Global Gap, probably the most important uh, certification company in the agribusiness sector. Uh, and also Federico Bocardo for, for Cargill, maybe most of you know about this, this company. So they create the what we know like the ISAN ecosystem. Uh, that allow us to 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 send touch management professional to to teach in ISAM and create these uh, synergies between our uh, students um, and this professional. Uh, Anik, uh, anyone like you like the most, or you. let's say who is maybe the the contest that match your interest? So I guess that there are like many factors that uh, can influence in your opinion about the professors? Yeah, what, what I search for is professors who know what they are talking about, because also in, in my job in Belgium, I want to know what I'm talking about before coming up. Um, and uh, I can confirm all of them fulfill that, that requirement. Um, they all have different characters. And like we have this, Session with Isabel later on. She's like a very motivated, very high speed lady, uh, pulling us through everything. Well, then we have for the finances, for instance, we have uh, Carlos, uh, who's a professor also at university and has a and works in a research center from a financial point of view. Um, and he is then like the other, the other opposite. Like he's very asking all the time. Like everybody understands um, feedback and very patient. Um, but they are both very well in, in the content they give. And I think it's just nice um, that you learn from different professionals. Um, those are indeed from a big company. And then there was somebody who, um, but I looked up his name meanwhile, it's Jose Luis Garcia de Castro. Um, he is specialized in uh, animal husbandry, but from a regenerative point of view. And for me, that's a, a topic which is pretty, pretty close to my heart because I want for the olive grove, I want to make a sustainable business on the regenerative um, background and, uh, and principles. So also from his point of view, it was pretty practical, the things he shared. Um, and that's also, very, uh, that was for me also a very big add-on. Well, he was not one of the like, the big, big companies, but he has a lot of practice and knowledge and, and that's also to share. So I think so far, everybody has been really an expert in his field and they have different ways of approaching, which is pretty normal because we have, we are different people. Yeah, exactly. Well, uh, Isabel, she's like uh, very active and she's into so many things. 
and as you said, Carlos, he's a university uh, professor. He is uh, from the University of Almeria. So he has like a different approach, but this is like the, the beauty of these kind of uh, programs that you can learn from different also, not only from, from your classmates, but also from different professors and the different approaches that uh, mm -hmm. they do. Okay, so uh, Enrique, maybe we can explain a few things about the contents, like just briefly, brief overview. Yeah, sure. Uh, well, basically this is the, the... Uh, the dossier of our the main subject we have in the program, as you can see, uh, well you you can cover like uh, you can get a uh, three hundred sixty great vision of the agricultural sector. Uh, I'm becoming an expert in agri marketing, innovation, technology, um, also sustainability. Uh, operation in the in the agricultural sector, uh, just to mention some of the of the topics. Um, well, the idea is to 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 develop your your global career, um, and take your department or your company to to the next level. So uh, you can more or less you can have an idea of the of the content that uh, well you can study during the program. Okay, and Anik, maybe, uh, I don't know, can you make any comment on this? Uh, let's say the, 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 the one you like or dislike <laughs> for any reason. I was just going over them to see which ones I did not have yet. <laughs> so Yeah, yeah you, are uh, like in a, you, you are kind of in the middle of, uh, of your path with us, right? Or more or yes. less? Yes, more or less. So now we had the strategic marketing uh, part and we will start with um, operations in the agriculture as a next point. So we have, we'll still have then smart agro and innovation uh, to go. Um, yeah, from from my perspective, there were like leadership skills and career development. That's a domain where I work in nowadays. Um, so that might be have, like have been the least extra information for me, but somehow. Um, also there, it's nice to see how other people bring it in and also to hear like in other cultures, how it works. Um, finances was something um, I had to study a lot for to grasp everything. Um, but once you get the hang of it and you understand and then you move forward. So I really want to stress if you want to get out everything out of it, it's not only watching the videos and looking to the presentation, but you also have to study to, to grasp it. Otherwise it would be a pity that you invest and then you don't take the knowledge with you and you only take the certificate with you. So that's my background and my approach also. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty eager to learn a lot. So I think for every, every new model that kicks in, I'm like, yeah, yeah what is gonna bring this time? So I cannot really say like, this is my favorite. It's, it's eye-opening for me all of them yeah I, I i personally remember the the master class uh, we had with the uh, miguel lozano during the almeria trip it was about negotiation skills mm -hmm. i loved it so much because it was very enriching and you can like you know the negotiation skills is not only about business but you can like uh, you know apply what you learn in any aspect <clears throat> sorry in any aspect of your daily life like mm -hmm. that, that, that was awesome yeah yeah. Um, okay, so um, <clears throat> Enrique. Yes. Um, well, um, the, the next slide is practice. Uh, what you learn? Uh, well, I uh, give you the, the all the benefit of studying online, so uh, you can apply all this knowledge uh, uh, in class. Uh, directly to to your job and, and with, as we mentioned you can take your your company your um, department to to a next level so uh most important thing is learn firsthand um how other department of your company work the, the most important is to have a global vision of how a uh, agribusiness company uh, is working right now in, in, in the sector with all the challenge you had to um, you, you had to, to focus in, in, in 
in the nowadays um, and, and also gives you the possibilities to to work with international teams because uh, we have a student from many different uh, nationalities as we mentioned from from well in, especially in my area from from latin america we have many students from colombia mexico and also from from europe uh, Africa um, and Asia. So this also is an, another challenge to um, give you different skill to interact with different people with from different cultures um, and to 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 have the same the same um, the same challenge in this case. Uh, yeah, uh, actually, this is something that students like <clears throat> since they can collaborate with different people from many different countries, many different backgrounds. So this allows to understand how the industry works, not only on a specific market, but in different countries. Uh, is that right, Anik? Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely. Because every group assignment also gives the possibility to get introduced to each other. And then you learn about the practices in this country and is in that business. Um, so it's, yeah, it's helpful to see that it's, it broadens up your view. Okay. Uh, yeah, Enrique, what do we have to say about this global network? You on mute? Sorry. Uh, as we mentioned in the last slide, so uh, Isan allow you to, to uh, create this um, uh, global network during the program. Uh, we have many students from different countries, South Africa, Mexico, Colombia, Japan, uh, many countries in Europe. Uh, also, uh, in ISAN, we have developed like different collab agreement, collaboration agreements with uh, different institutions, um, uh, like universities, like Samorano in Honduras, um, uh, Earth University in Costa Rica, as well as uh, many important companies like Bayer or uh, the JAP is the, agro, the uh, Junta Agropecuaria Dominicana is from, from the Rep Rep Dominican Republic. Um, and also uh, this, the ISAN ecosystem with different companies uh, around the world like Syngenta, uh, La Palma, Copper, Bayer, uh, Carrefour. So uh, this um, environment, you know, uh, allow you to interact with the top professional in the sector uh, and, and create these synergies uh, between the student and, and this professional. Uh, I don't know, Anastasia, do you want to add something? Uh, well, yeah, uh, maybe I would like to ask Anik because uh, you came to Almeria model trip. In last February. So, and uh, we visited some of the companies here in, in Almeria, since we have like around 400 agribusiness companies in this, uh, in this province. So do you remember like any, like what company you, like impressed you the most or any comments on that? Um, I liked, I was very much impressed and I liked very much Kimitech. Um, but then also others like BioRizon, um, working on how to work with insects instead of pesticides and, and create like recreate um, yeah, the biobalance in, in companies or in, uh, in farms. Um, yeah, I'm bad with remembering names, but I also know there were, there were several who, there was also a company who was really doing um, exploration which which light do you need in in in-house um, farming for instance uh, for crop management um, how many hours per day do you need uh, to have an optimal use like all those kind of things for me personally i will not need this but it's something which was very interesting to see because um what used to be like uh, Silicon Valley for technology years ago, when I was still in technology, I think Almeria and, and its technology parts there is really the Silicon Valley for the agriculture. Um, and there are like a lot of greenhouses analysis and, and how to, which format is the best and which materials are the best, what are the properties for this, for that. So it, it was really 
very good to be there. It was very inspiring because you go in the middle of the companies, you get the explanation. We went to somebody who's like um, having also tomato plants, but the different kinds of and working with insects and you actually see how it works there. Um, so yeah, I, for me, it was a very, a very interesting trip. Um, and also that way I learned to know the people which part of them were in my group or the group before me. Um, so, so we still have contact and that's also a nice thing. Yeah, actually, we were speaking about the this trip. Uh, this is like uh, an opportunity for online students to visit us in Almeria, in Spain. See by yourself what is about this agricultural hub. I like very much the comparison with the Silicon Valley, Anik. <laughs> that was very great. I never heard like uh, that's that's great. And well, so we have like a short uh, video, like a summary of what we did last February. Yeah, that, that 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 was great. I remember that was very uh, emotional for all of us to see all of you guys here. So, uh, Enrique, do you have anything to add? Because I remember that you were accompanying the group in Spanish, right? Yeah, I, I um, well, I had the opportunity to to go with the uh, group from from Latin America, especially from the from the JAP, from the Republic Dominican Republic. Uh, had the opportunity to visit Tecnova, um, um, La Union, and also uh, we we were in the in the master class with uh, Miguel Lozano that you you mentioned Anastasia mentioned a few minutes ago, uh, and what was one of the most uh, uh, you know impressive lesson in I would say in my whole life because. As Anastasia mentioned, negotiation is not only about um, the agribusiness sector or, or business companies, it's, it's about life. That's how more or less he explained the, the, the subject. And uh, yes, good good memories from, from the uh, Almeria agricultural model. Um, and, you know, invite all of you, you had the opportunity to, to, to gain with us next year.
Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, thank you, Enrique. So uh, the next thing we have to say to you is about the admission process, but <clears throat> I would like to ask you if you have any questions for Anik, since she is quite busy today because she has to attend like the activity, the next activity with the Isabel Cayuela. So uh, please feel free if you have any question regarding the program and regarding the Annex uh, experience as a student. So maybe now is the time to ask. Meanwhile, I'll be looking for a link for the video because I, I'm sorry, I didn't know that the, the, the sound was, I, I wasn't sharing the sound of the video. So uh, feel free to, you know, to put your camera on and ask directly uh, Anik or on chat as you wish. Okay, so maybe any question? Or if you just want to say hi or introduce yourself. So I see some people from here. I see Alexander. Are you with us? We do not know. Alexander, he's from Germany. So I also see those of you. Oh, uh, Angela from Colombia. I see Gloria. She's also from Germany, if I'm not wrong. So I see one of the students who is starting now in July. Uh, she's from Denmark. Anyone? Okay. So let's see on chat. Hi, Chantania. That's the student from, from Denmark. Very nice to see you all here. Okay, guys. So in case you don't have any questions, we will proceed with the with the information about the admission process. Okay, so Anik, if you want to stay with us for a bit longer, if not, it was a pleasure to have you here. I will wish you the best of luck uh, with the, your next session with Isabel and of course the, the final group project that we know that it's quite demanding and uh, collaborate with other students from many different countries. This is like the challenge of uh, international work, right? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Thank you, I was happy to be here. Somebody asked whether I can be contacted afterwards. I've put my mail and my number the number can be used via WhatsApp internationally. I think that will be uh, the cheapest way for all of you. Um, or you can contact me by my email if you have extra questions. Um, I hope I have inspired you and maybe also okay. made you enthusiastic to, to go to take the road and to take the challenge. Um, I'm definitely happy I took, I took uh, the, uh, this decision and I'm part of the, the group now. And yes, I'll be running off for our group assignment to be presented and defended to the professor at um, oh, okay. a minute. Okay, thank you very much, Anik. Thank, thank you. Anik. Always, always a pleasure. And we hope to see you again in Almeria because I know that you are kind of like, you like Almeria very much. Mm -hmm. And so we hope we can see you again in yeah. our alumni day or another trip as you wish. Okay, you are always welcome yeah. here in Almeria at Aysan family. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Annie. All the best to everybody and maybe hear or see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 See you around. See you around. Uh, okay, Enrique, so maybe we could, we could explain you and me, maybe you, you would like to start about the, the admission process, like very brief information. Yeah, it's a simple process. The the first step is to fill in your personal details in in our online platform in our website. Uh, usually, we share with us uh, the link, but uh, you only have to to fill in your personal details and and to to pay the admission fee is uh, uh, 50, 50 euros. Um, the second step is to upload your CV, well, the, the, the main documents, a CV motivation letter uh, with no more than uh, 500 words. So it's not, not a very long document. Uh, your university degree, passport, and, and pictures. Um, and well, Anastasia, do you want to finish the, explaining the, the admission process? Yeah, sure. Well, uh, as Enrique mentioned, so once you upload your documents, our admission committee meets every Friday. So uh, they will check your documents and review your profile. <clears throat> Since uh, at ISA we are looking for highly motivated students, 
motivated in agribusiness management. So after they check the docs uh, and you are officially admitted in the program, so we'll ask you to, to confirm your seat and that's it, you are ready to go. The next intake starts uh, in July. Okay, July 20th is gonna be the induction day, but we are already working very hard on admissions. Uh, we already have students in the class. So if anybody is uh, interested, do not hesitate. And if you feel ready and you feel committed, uh, please join the program. As Anik told you, uh, it could be challenging to combine uh, work studies, family life, because the students are from very different different backgrounds. Even sometimes uh, the schedule, the, the, the work schedule would be tight, but uh, everybody managed to combine both study and work. And uh, that's it. Okay, uh, you're welcome to join the class. So for that, you will need to undergo the, the admission process, okay? Uh, so, yeah, uh, let's see uh, the questions. And Dike, could you help me with uh, some questions from the chat? I see. Yeah, uh, Alexander is asking about how is the split between group work and cell study? Um, well, okay, let Let's say, yes, let's say that uh, each month a new module is opened, okay? So after each module, you have some individual activities and some group assignments, okay? So you have to work with your classmates and for the individual assignments, it could be a multiple choice uh, tests or a, a practical case, case study that you will need to complete individually. I hope this answer <laughs> Yeah, I think so. I think so. Uh, and, and also, Baivat uh, Dital is asking, when will the next intake start after July? Uh, well, um, uh, well uh, usually we are given this information. We are, we, we are given the confirmation of the new dates once we close the group, once we start in July, and we can start working on the new admissions. So, uh, what we know for sure is going to be the next one in July. And once the group is completed, we will confirm the new, the dates of the new intake. Okay. So yeah. for those who cannot join for any reason this time, uh, we can continue in, in, in contact. We will let you know uh, the, the new dates. So you could get on the board like ASAP. Okay. And Dike, do you see any other question? Yeah, another one. Another one for Koir, he, uh, he's asking, is there any deadline for every assessment and how long is the deadline? Wow. Well, let, let us say that we are from the admissions team, okay, Enrique and me, so we are not directly involved in the academic part of yeah. the program. For that, you have the, the assistance of our academic department who will assist you uh, personally. Uh, when you need, when you have some like difficulties uh, with some contents. As for the deadlines, so what we know is that after each module, as I said, there are individual assignments, group assignments. So you have a deadline. And if you do not meet that deadline, Anik mentioned before that you have some extra time, but you can be penalized uh, like around 20% of your score in case you don't meet uh, the deadline. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I just want to emphasize that the program is really flexible in, in that regard. So uh, usually students have uh, different options, you know, to to complete all their uh, assignments. Yeah, um, we we are at, at ISAM, we, uh, our goal also is uh, you, you to success in this. Yeah, yeah. So. to combine, combine the, uh, your life with your professional life with your... <laughs> Um, or your studies in this case. Hmm. Um, I I not see I don't see any any questions. Uh, okay, uh, we have Oscar here. He's from Oscar. Malawi. Hi, Oscar. So, uh, Enrique, is there still time to submit in the application in this week? Uh, well, yeah, the, the the process is still open. So uh, of course you can send your application 
um, upload your, your documents. Um, well, the admissions and teens will give you a response in, in less than, uh, than a week, than uh, five working days. Exactly, you, you can start uh, the application. There are still three seats in the class. And uh, so if you feel ready, start right away. Okay, so let's check quickly if there are any other question. Oh, I have a question here from Emmanuel. Yeah, he's Emmanuel, asking, yeah. Yeah, he's asking, are currently in the academia that can mentor me into PhD after master's? Okay, I will try and then think maybe you can complement my yeah. answer. So uh, let's say that uh, this program is business oriented program, okay? Uh, for those who want to pursue PhD studies and academic career, maybe this is not the best fit, okay? Because this program is practical, business oriented, and you mm -hmm. learn from professionals. It is true that we also have PhD, uh, PhD who are enrolled in our master program, in our MBA. And this is because they are academics, but they want to get and they are in the, in the business and they want to understand also how the industry works, not only from the research uh, point of view, but also real world, real companies. And... Yeah, as, as, <laughs> and as, as we mentioned before, uh, the, the ISAN ecosystem uh, is based on working on consulting and many challenges and, and real cases with our students. So we are more focused on the uh, Pract at practical level more than um, academic level. Obviously, we can check in our data for maybe we have some students that can, can help you in any way. Uh, okay, so I'm sharing my email address in the chat, okay, in case there are, there is any information you want to know. Uh, if you need more details or if there are any questions that, that hasn't been answered. So, uh, Enrique, if you want to share your details too. Yeah. And sure. Enrique is responsible for Latin America and the United States and uh, myself uh, for the rest. Together with uh, other members from the admissions team, we are responsible for the rest of the countries. Okay. So, any other question from anybody? Or if you just want to say hi, it is okay. Okay, in this case, uh, this is all from our side. I um, think, okay, let me check if there is any. Okay, that's the biggest number. Okay, so thank you very much to everybody who connected today. We have we had more people registered, but we understand that because of the time difference and uh, work commitments, not all of you could connect, but no worries, we will be sending the recording of this session. So uh, you could check uh, the info again, and maybe if there are any questions that you may have after, we are available and happy to answer. Thank you very much. And Dike, do you want to say goodbye? <laughs> thank you, thank you everybody for your time. And uh, it was a pleasure to um, to share this time with you. Um, and well, especially to Anastasia for all the, uh, to organize uh, this event um, and see you in the next, in the next one. Yeah, see you soon. Any question, let us know. Thank you very much for connecting and see you. Bye-bye. See you soon. See you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.